and I hop into my 35 pounds of gear, I'm pulling on my G-suit and all that fun stuff, and all of a sudden we go out onto that flight deck and we climb into that airplane and you are launched off the end of that aircraft carrier going from zero to over 180 miles an hour in under two seconds flat. In just under a couple minutes, you're going about 600 miles an hour, all the while responsible for leading two, four, six, heck, I'd take 20 wingmen with me if the boss would let me, safely to a target and then back again. Now, why do I say that's physically challenging? So physically, this is challenging because, and I'm going to do a little math in public here, if you weigh uh, about 200 pounds, oftentimes when we're out and we go out to the target, we pull a lot of Gs. Now, a G is the force of gravity. So right now, we are all sitting at one G. So if you weigh about 200 pounds, you are still currently weighing 200 pounds. I know it's Christmas, so maybe it's 203. But so when we're out and we're pulling those eight Gs, that's eight times the force of gravity. So that is like weighing 1,600 pounds. That is like trying to fly with a small horse in your lap. And y'all, this is really hard. This is not actually part of the fun part because sometimes the hardest part is actually just staying conscious because all the blood is getting pulled from your head. It pools into your lower body cavity and there's so much pressure down on your legs, it feels like your toenails are gonna pop off sometimes. I know that's the really glamorous part of aviation. <laughs> so, so you're trying to stay conscious. Remember, you're hot, you're sweaty, you're talking on three different radios all at once and you're trying to keep track of all your wingmen and the enemy. And then still we get to come back and land on the aircraft carrier. Now, for those of you in the back row, when you look at the screens, you'll see there's that little tiny ship down in the lower right-hand corner. So if it looks really little to you in the back, that's actually what it looks like to us, too, when we're trying to land on that thing, because it's not 10,000 feet of runway ahead of you. So you go out, you perform this mission, and you have to come back and land on the ship again. Now, an aircraft carrier landing, or a trap is what we call them, is actually like a controlled car crash. Because remember, you're coming in, you're slowing down quite a bit, but now you go from about 165 or 170 miles an hour to a dead stop in about 1.2 seconds. So everything flings forwards, it feels like your arms and your legs are gonna kinda get ripped off your body. And you know, that's why you wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts for safety. So you do this stuff, but you come to a really abrupt stop, and now your mission is safely complete once you're off the deck.